All right, Brewers spring training day four has happened. Garrett Mitchell would start out with a pop-up. Sal Freelick would hit a triple out to Mickey Moniak and right. Willie Adamas would get an RBI single to score in Sal Freelick. Let's see if he's got a green light. Here's the pitch. Swinging away, busted bat and a base hit to left center. Brewers lead it 1 0 on the run scoring single from Willie Adamas. 3 0, spring training AB. Let her fly. Run scoring single for Adamas. Ty Black would pop up to second for the second out. Joey Weimer would end out the half inning on a strikeout. Taylor Ward would double out to center for a base hit. Nolan Shonawa would ground out to second for the first out. Mike Trout would have a sack fly to make it tied up. 2-2, liner right center field. Freela giving chase. He will dive and make the catch. Tagging and coming in to score is Ward, but Freelich taking an extra base hit away from Mike Trout. Brandon Drury would ground out to third for the final out. Blake Perkins would get walked and then steal second base. After Bryce Terrain got a single, then he got caught stealing. Game guys, the Yelich, the Reese Hoskins names in Cactus League games, they are getting their work in. There's base hit to right. They'll send Perkins around third. Here comes a throw home. It's cut off. Oliver Dunn would ground out back to Zach Plezak for the second out. Jefferson Carroll would fly out to left for the third out. Hobie Milner would replace Jansen Junk. Hobie Milner would strike out Mickey Moniak. Miguel Sano would fly out to center for the second out. Chad Wallach would then single out to left. Levon Soto would single, moving Chad Wallach to third. Zach Neto would get an RBI double scoring in Levon Soto. The Brewers would make an error, making it 4-2 LA. Nolan Shonawa would ground out to second for the third out. Matt Moore would replace Zach Plezak, and then he went 1-2-3. Tiago Vieira would come in for Hobie Milner. Vieira would strike out Mike Trout. Brandon Drury would ground out to short for the second out. Mickey Moniak would be walked, and then he'd be caught stealing. Guillermo Zuniga would come in for Matt Moore. Guillermo would go 1-2-3. Brian Hudson would come in for Tiago Vieira. Brian Hudson would strike out Miguel Sano. Chad Wallach would ground out to short for the second out. Levon Soto would hit a single pass Brian Hudson for a base hit. Zach Neto hit an RBI triple to make it 5-2. to two. That is something that we might see more of this year. Neto with a high fly to left field, and it's over the head, a base hit. Soto comes in, Neto's around second base, he's digging for third, relay throw on the way, not in time. Taylor Ward would strike out to end out the inning. Adam Kolarik would come in for Guillermo Zuniga. Bryce Terang would be hit by a pitch. Oliver Dunn would get an RBI double, making 5-3 LA. Jefferson Carroll would get an RBI double. First pitch to Carroll, fly ball center field. Back is Trout. Wind gets a hold of it. Still back, and he dropped it in deep center field. Coming around third, trying to score. The relay throw cut off. It's After that rally, the Brew Crew would go 1-2-3. Carlos F. Rodriguez would be the new pitcher, and Gregory Barrios would be replacing Willie Adamas. Nolan Shonawa would hit a single to right. Mike Trout would ground out the first for the first out. Brandon Drury would strike out. Mickey Moniak would fly out to left for the final out of the half inning. I know it's pixely, but here's some substitutions. Tyler Black would hit a single to center. Joey Weimer would ground out, moving Tyler Black to second. Blake Perkins would ground out, moving Tyler Black to third. Bryce Turing would fly out to center for the final out of that half inning. Here's some more substitutions and replacements. The Angels practically went 1-2-3, but Levon Soto got a single. Richie Martin would replace Zach Neto, and Cole Fontenelle would replace Levon Soto. Oliver Dunn would strike out. Wes Clark would come in for Jefferson Caro. Wes Clark would ground out to short for the second out. Garrett Mitchell would ground out to second for the final out of that half inning. 
Blake Holub would replace Bradley Blalick, and Wes Clark would stay at catcher. Tucker Flint would fly out to left for the first out. Charles LeBlanc would be walked, then he would steal second base. Nelson Rada would be walked. Ihiri Adrianza would fly out to center for the second out. A wild pitch by Blake Holub would move Charles LeBlanc to third and Nelson Rada to second. Jordan Adams would get walked. Jason Martin would come in for Miguel Sano. Jason Martin would ground out to first for the third out. Two more switches. Sal Freelich would hit a single to right. Lamar Sparks would replace Sal Freelich. Gregory Barrios would ground into a double play and Tyler Black would ground out. James Meeker would replace Blake Holub and Lamar Sparks would be in right field. Matt Thies would be hit by a pitch. Cole Fontenelle reached on an error to second. Richie Martin would fly out to right. Tucker Flint would strike out. Charles LeBlanc would reach on an error scoring Matt Thies, making it 6-4, Angels. Nelson Rado would line out the first for the final out of that half inning. Two more switches once again. The Brewers would go 1-2-3 in the ninth to lose, 4-6. The Brewers' perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Sal Freelich with a triple and a single. If you like what you see, hit like, subscribe, and uh, goodbye.